Hey everybody, it's Mary Cheney, Marketing Manager here at VoIP Supply, and today we have a product feature video for Fanville's i62 door phone. First, we're gonna take the i62 out of the box, then we're gonna talk about some of the product details, and then we're gonna demo some of the cool features. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's unbox. We have a couple of VRFID cards, get you started. We have the quick installation guide, and this is actually for multiple models. We have the wall mounting template. These are great. There's actually a sticky back on this, so you can stick it right on the wall. Super helpful. Let's get the device out here. There's the actual unit and the tools that we're going to need to install the device. All right, so that's everything that's in the box. So let's talk about some of the product details. The Fanville i62 SIP door phone is designed for outdoor scenes with high reliability, HD audio and video. It combines an anti-vandal solution with an elegant design and offers high durability to guarantee the highest coverage on the market according to the IP66 and IK07 standards. It is outfitted with the speed dial button and designed especially for small scale installation. The i62 enables you to easily monitor an entrance door or gate and gives you the peace of mind of knowing that your facility is is more secure. The i62 SIP door phone has a built-in HD camera. This also has night vision. It is fitted with a tamper switch that detects unauthorized opening of the device itself, built-in TF card slot for data storage, and is compatible with most major platforms. All functions for the i62 SIP door phone include call out, answering, and rejecting, call waiting, intercom, multicast, and you can also have an anonymous call. And now let's demonstrate some of the features. Thank you, Mary. Hi, this is Joe from VoIP Supply. Today I'm going to go ahead and discuss the Fanville i62 video door phone. And one of the cool features, if you're in a deployment and you're unsure what the IP address is of the device, you can actually long press the call button and then short press. Okay, we're going to go ahead into the IP address of the device. Log in with the Fanville default credentials of admin. As you can see right now, there are no lines registered. I'm going to go ahead and register this to the 3CX phone system. Go ahead and create a user. Demonstration purpose, I'm just going to go with the defaults. I'm going to disable two-factor authentication. I'm going to go over to options, first and foremost and I want to uncheck the block remote non-tunnel connection. Save that first. Now it prompts you to type in your name. Demonstration purpose, I'm just going to say video door phone. Fanville. You have an option for the email address. It'll email the credentials to you. Okay, next go over to IP phone. Configure a phone. And then for this purpose, I'm just going to configure the phone myself. So this is going to be manually registering the device. I'm going to point it to the LAN, local area network, or the FQDN of my 3CX phone system, whether it be on your local network or posted in the cloud, at phone. And then you can just copy the credentials. Go back over to line. The username is 1001. You're going to activate so it enables the registration. The authentication user is the authentication ID. Display name is arbitrary. Next, the authentication password. Server address, where the SIP server lives. Okay, and that's all you should need in order for this to register. Make sure that you go back to the 3CX phone system. Close this. Go back to your options. Just make sure that's unchecked. Save. 
Okay, so we have our FanVille Video Door Foam. We're going to go back to the door foam. Let me apply this. Okay, it is SIP registered. You can go back over to the system. And you can see right here that it reached out to the 3CX Foam hosted cloud service that I'm running. And it's SIP registered. Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show you how to add an RFID card to where you can swipe and then you can interact with Relay to open the door and have it do other various things. Go over to EGS settings, go over to card, and then you're going to go ahead and add a card. You're going to name the card. Let's just say this is for the VoIP department and the card number. So the card number that I'm going to go ahead and put in is 271 triple seven two eight seven four okay now the card is added and it shows that it enabled both relay one and relay two okay I'm gonna go ahead and swipe the card and that opened the relay one and relay two you can go back and you can see the logs and you can see that I scanned it. I was able to access the door. Now, with the relay, it opened the door, and then it only opened the door once. You can set a password as well, and then you can set times where you're allowing how many times that they can swipe the card, if it's permissible through daily, weekly, monthly, or no repetition. Over on the security settings of this device, there are tamper alarm that you can set. So that way if someone tries to actually take it from the wall, so it'd be a high level trigger, disconnect trigger, and then you can have it send an SMS message. And that's how you're going to be able to SIP register the Fanville Video Door Phone i62 with the 3CX phone system. This is Joe from VoIP Supply. If you do have any further questions, please check out the links in our description box below. Thank you for your time.